Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell button to get notified every time I post a new video. And today's topic is about using the Bannership 2.0 and what it's like to get an in-office microneedling session. So let's get started. I have gotten microneedling sessions in office in the past. This is going to be, I think, my seventh session if I'm not wrong. And I've been getting these microneedling sessions to help out with my acne scars because they are pretty deep. But thankfully, slowly but surely, they have been getting better. And since I can't really get them consistently, one thing that has helped me is using Banish at home. If you guys know, I have been using Banish products for a really long time now. I think since like 2018, 2019. I love their cleansers, moisturizers. They work really well with my acne prone skin. I use Banish products almost every other night. And I have also tried the Banish 2.0 kit. It is their at home microneedling device. I do want to be using it at least once a month so it can help me in between microneedling sessions. I'm definitely going to talk more about Banish later on in this video. And I'm going to show you guys how my skin looks right now. I do have some pimples right here. But you can see they're just. They're like square acne scars, ice pick, box scars, and depends on the lighting, but I also have rolling scars on the sides of my cheeks. Some right there. So I just want to show you how my skin looks right now because I'm going to be getting a micro noodling session tomorrow gonna be filming the whole process with you guys showing you day by day how things look i am so excited and i can't wait to show you what it looks like see you guys tomorrow This is how my face looks immediately after getting the microneedling done. I gotta say guys, if your esthetician does not put a good numbing cream, you're gonna feel everything. You're gonna feel the pain, the burning, but thankfully I don't feel, I don't feel that at all. My lips are like numb. I feel like I got a Botox or something, but this is how my face looks. I did put a hat on um, just to protect myself from the sun. But thankfully, it's it's a little cloudy here, so I'm not complaining about that. Redness everywhere. She look. Uh, you can see my scars. You can see them. She went all around my face where I have my scars. And like I said, totally painless because um, they have to use a really good numbing cream. If not, then it's going to hurt. So didn't happen at all. First, she exfoliated, she did some microblading, removed excess hair that I have on my face. She cleansed my face, applied the numbing cream, did the microneedling. I'm so excited. Over the next few days, I'm going to be coming back, giving you a little update on how my face heals because it's going to get dark, all right? It's gonna peel a little bit. You're gonna see my dead skin. She provided an aftercare kit. So let me show you what I got. Uh, today, since she applied that retinal booster, I have to keep that on for six hours and then I just remove whatever's on my face with uh, nothing but water, tap water, room temperature water. And the next day is when I will start using her products. There's a little cleanser. This is the brand that she uses, so I'm going to apply this to my face. Can you guys see? And then I will apply, um, this is the moisturizer that she provided, some white petroleum. Since it's really hydrating and my face is going to be super exposed and bare, I need a really good moisturizer, so white petroleum. On day three is when I will use this product that she provided. I will give you an update in the afternoon to see how my skin looks.
It is nighttime already and I want to show you how my skin is looking so far. First day, mm, pretty crazy, right? It's completely red. Areas are darkening up, as you can see. No itchiness, no burning. You shouldn't be feeling anything at all. Just normal. Today I'm not washing my face with anything, just rinsing off with warm water. I'm gonna start using the kit she provided tomorrow. So I will give you guys an update the following days. Next morning, and this is how my skin looking pretty red, but not as red as I thought it would be. But hey, I'm not complaining about that. Side areas, there is some darkness. But today is the first day that we're gonna actually use what she provided. And starting off with the cleanser. Just a, a clear one. My skin right now, it feels pretty dry, like sandpaper almost. This cleanser is not very foamy, which I'm sure it has to be a gentle cleanser. Face is nice and dry. For now, cleanser and some of this white petroleum. I think that's good. This will remind me of slugging but it's just to keep my face moisturized okay I applied the petroleum face is nice and moisturized so we'll try to stay indoors as much and if I ever decide to go outside I'm not wearing like hat and super important sunscreen but um updates come i will see you guys tomorrow quick face update it is sunday already and this is how my face is looking starting to peel in the areas where i guess i have more movement and obviously by my mouth area but over here i Notice I have a pimple. That's always fun. <laughs> pimple. But the rest of my face looks okay. Well, not really. <laughs> Everything looks creepy. But this is the most noticeable, noticeable area where I'm peeling and it kind of burns a little. So we're gonna wash your face, put some Vaseline. I just don't like how it feels because it's like greasy, I look oily, ugh, all of that stuff. Today's the third day. I can now use the accelerator and a serum. Improvements in appearance of lines and wrinkles, age spots, redness, discoloration, pore size, firmness, skin textures. Wow, the serum, the second ingredient is human bone marrow stem cell conditioned media. They're both water based, so they must be good. And let me wash my face. I don't know if I need to put Vaseline though. I really like foaming this up, but you can only do so much. Going first with the serum. Okay. Um, how many pops? I did two. Okay, let's just three for now. Like a milky consistency. Putting it all around the face. The good thing that I've only gotten pimples in this chin area. It had to be the Vaseline. Maybe it just clogged my pores. Hopefully they go away. Now I'm moving on to the accelerator. Looks about the same. But this one is a bit more creamier. Oh, this one stings a little. Ouch. Oh. The last one does sting a little. You can see it's a bit red. That's that for today. I will give you an update in the afternoon or maybe the next day. It's nighttime on Monday. And a good amount of my like old skin i'm trying to lower the light but 
all of this pink red is like the new skin uh forehead still is like a bit oh old skin dry skin and my skin does look red um and it feels stiff like it feels pretty stiff so i'm making sure that i'm gonna apply the petroleum jelly to be nice and moisturized because it's, my skin is so stiff i think my skin is gonna look even more different by tomorrow night since a big difference happened since yesterday um but yeah i'll keep you guys updated good morning good morning it is the next day in the morning <laughs> i just washed my face with a cleanser and i gotta say about 99.9% .9 of all the dead skin is off just just in my nose area it's still rough and bumpy and in these little cracks there's still that dead skin doesn't want to come off okay but the rest of my skin is pretty everything's gone um but it still feels tight and, and it looks red um let me see if i can lower this if you can see there's like a pretty big difference between my two skin tones look there we go still red and then right there like you can see it's really dry like my skin is pretty dry um i'm gonna apply the serums Ooh, too pumped to look good all of my skin fell in a matter of what i got a friday saturday sunday monday tuesday today's tuesday so well four days about four days for everything to come right off it's such a relief already because being home all day for the weekend and on monday was not my most productive times yeah it's my skin is still red um, i'm gonna put some of this petroleum jelly white petroleum I have to say this really suits my skin the fact that it's just dry this is a process but on this side of my face I don't have any pimples I don't know why I always have pimples on this side it must be the side I sleep hmm. and I'm sure by the end of the day today when I shower um, the little cracks in here will be gone I just hope the redness might settle down I don't know there's only so much I can think of, but this was faster than I expected. I'm glad. <laughs> that is all. Next time you'll see me, it might be on Friday when I get my facial with Rachel because there really isn't much to show. If there was anything crazy or really you can use and my redness is down, I will give you an update. But until then, see you guys another day. Hey guys, it's time to see Rachel. Um, almost all of my skin has fallen off all of the dead skin and you can see here don't mind these this is the from the sunglasses but just this side the sides i have like a little bit of um stubborn dead skin that just doesn't want to go away and i'm sure she's gonna like give me a little scrub a facial and i still have been getting dryness right here i have my dry skin here and a little bit right here but other than that it's looking pretty good the enzyme so I just eat the dead skin cells from AGA just really out of it. Okay. You smell it, though, it, smells like it smells so good. Yeah, it smells like okay, just got back. My skin feels so moisturized and hydrated. She did 
an enzyme mask she cleansed my face and lastly she applied like a really good moisturizer and it smells amazing and my skin feels so hydrated but she was a like i said she just really exfoliated all of that dead skin everything that was left over and she did mention that it takes four weeks for the collagen to build up on the skin it's a process guys and i'm so happy so that is what it's like to get a microneedling session done at an office it's a long downtime it's a process so you have to be prepared for that but at the end you get some really good results it just depends on how deep are your acne scars uh, mine are pretty deep and it has taken some sessions to get to this phase but we're still not done yet it's gonna take some time so now let me show you the banisher 2.0 how do you do it at home i have been incorporating banished products along with my skincare yeah i've been trying out so many of their products and that includes the banisher 2.0 so that is their at home micro needling device when you get the kit it will include a little zip up bag where you can put your stuff this is how your banish oil is going to come packaged since it is like a glass container they want to make sure it stays well during shipping and arriving to your house and this is how the banish comes they make sure it arrives sterile it gives you a container a tube where you can open it and store it this is their micro needling device you twist the cap off and there are bristles they're really tiny and it should be this small because anything bigger an esthetician should be doing this and what's unique about banisher 2.0 is that these bristles are gold plated gold is sterile and it also promotes collagen growth so it's pretty unique you don't really see this a lot in these derma rollers that you find in stores the ones that i see like at marshall's at tj maxx at Ross, the bristles are so much bigger and they shouldn't be this one is a stamp version compared to the roller ones that you see really popular online and in stores but the difference is the roller ones they press unevenly causing to not work as properly compared to the stamp since the bristles are all in the same way you are pressing onto your skin straight vertically and this one is super convenient because the cap acts as a storage device but if you see here, there is a little marking where you can fill the alcohol to cleanse the bristles correctly. And whenever you store it away, it's going to protect the bristles from touching and dirtying themselves and also even bending them, damaging the bristles. So it's going to be nicely protected. So you're asking me, Chelsea, well, how do you, how do I use this device? I'm going to show you. As long as you follow Banish instructions, the step-by-step -step instructions on how to use it, how to care for it. The first step is we have to sterilize the bristles for the 70% alcohol isopropyl alcohol to the max line. Leave those bristles soaking the alcohol for about five minutes. Once that time is up, you twist it back off and let the bristles dry for about two minutes. Now what you're gonna be doing is pressing the banisher straight onto your skin about five times, lifting the banisher and rotating 90 degrees before pressing down again. So four to five times in each area, just making sure you're moving the bristles and you do it four to five times in each step. Once you're done, you move to your next, next side, next side, next side. Now, once you're done, you're gonna be applying the banish oil or vitamin C cream onto your skin immediately after using the banisher. Every single time you're gonna be using it, just make sure the bristles are clean. We don't wanna be causing more acne or any bacteria onto your skin and use once every one to two weeks some tips is to please do a test patch on your skin before doing the entire application personal use only do not share this with other people do not use the banisher directly onto pimples because if you're stamping on the pimple and you're squeezing it all of that bacteria you're going to be spreading it all around your face so just avoid your pimples move around the areas i use this right before i go to bed because your face will get a little red from the little bristles of course so don't go into direct sunlight immediately after you want your skin to heal to rest so ideally 
before you go to bed. If you're not using the banish oil, please make sure that any serum you're applying after the banisher, make sure that it doesn't have any fragrance so it doesn't irritate your skin. And when you're applying the dropper to your skin, don't make the dropper, this little glass, touch directly your skin. If you're planning on using the banisher, make sure your skin is freshly cleansed you don't have any makeup residue or anything you have. your face has to be clean so the first major difference between an at-home microneedling versus in office microneedling is the price if you purchase these two together it's going to be less than a hundred dollars compared to a single microneedling session in an office with an esthetician or at a dermatology place so where i get my sessions they are about 350 and that is a lot cheaper than other prices that I've gotten here in Houston. But if you get the kit from the Banisher, you can do it at the comfort of your home whenever you want. You don't have to schedule in advance, put a deposit down, none of those things. This kit you can use about 10 times. After that, they recommend to purchase a new banisher. And the recovery time is around 8 to 12 hours. You can definitely sleep that off if you decide to do this at nighttime. Plus, the beauty of it, you can try this for 45 days. If you don't like it, you can get your money back. Well, guys, I hope you found this video helpful at all. If you were curious to see what was the difference between at home microneedling versus in office. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!